Saint Elred, the patron saint of Bladderstones, was one of three sons born to Aleph, a priest at Saint Andrews at Hexham. Elred was born in 1110 in Hexham, Northumberland, England. Saint Elred's father and his grandfather were priests. Later in his life, Elred became an English Cistercian monk, abbot of Revu, the head of the Cistercian monk m monastic community of Revu Abbey from 1147 until his death in 1167. Revu was in northern England near Scotland. It was one of 13 English Cistercian houses, which according to St. Peter's Church in Southport, had come forth from the mother house at Chateau in France. In the late 11th century, the Cistercians had broken away from the Benedictine order. They said it had become lax and rich. They sought to purify their observance of Benedict's rule, adding their own short charter, the Charter of Charity, which emphasized manual work, love, prayer, and self-transcendence. The abbots of Revu were amongst the most powerful Christian leaders in Northern England until the dissolution of the Monastery by Henry VIII of England in 1538. Elred was regarded as a very prestigious figure, most notably known for his writing. He wrote numerous books on spirituality, one of the most influential being De Spirituali Amicitia, or On Spiritual Friendship. Elred's writing on spiritual friendship goes through many aspects of what friendship is. He admits that in his youth, he was not only a lover, but he took many lovers as well. According to Chris Tayak, an Anglican of the Church of Annunciation, Elred came to, to the realization that what he had really sought in his lovers was not any bodily pleasure, but a union of the souls. He sought friendship, amatitia, which he said is the virtue by which spirits are bound by ties of love and sweetness, and out of many are made one. But Tayak tells us not to believe Elred was settling for something less than love. To Elred, friendship was love, the highest form of love. To Elred's mind, the love between a husband and a wife was the same as the love between monks in the cloister, or between close friends of all kinds. All were love and all were friendship. Friendship is mixing of souls, but more particularly, its mark is, Elred said, the confiding of secrets. Elred explores the nature and origins of friendship along with its development and practical concerns. A lot of Elred's writings and own beliefs are based on John's works through the words of Jesus, particularly John 15, lines 12 to 13. This is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. Greater love has no one than this, that someone lay down his life for his friends. Elred goes into explaining the creation and origin of friendship in God's creation. Elred discusses in his writing ways to establish and maintain friendship, then rises to the anticipation of the time when the great company of friends will be one with one another and with God. He viewed friendship as the goal of life, and he quotes Cicero, saying, They seem to take the son of the world who take friendship out of life, for we have nothing better from God, nothing more pleasant. Elred believed that God is friendship, basing more of his theory on the work of John. Elred wrote, God is friendship. He who abides in friendship abides in God and God in him. Paraphrasing 1 John 4.16. Therefore, God is the deepest basis of sociality. This is the heart of Elred's theology. God is the bond of all life, of animals, of humans, and of all the angels, drawing them into cooperation. In De Spirituali Amasidia, Elred radicalizes this idea further. God who is friendship the, is the original connectivity between everything. For as he says in the book, even soil, rivers, trees are not alone, but thrive in a certain society with their own kind. There is between them a certain love of companionship. Elred's passionate beliefs on the importance of friendship are shown further through this iconic selection from De Spirituali Amicitia. Elred writes, It is no small consolation in this life to have someone you can unite with you in an intimate affection in the embrace of a holy love, someone in whom your spirit can rest, to whom you can pour out your soul, to whose pleasant exchanges as to soothing songs you can fly in sorrow, with whose spiritual kisses as with remedial salves you may draw out the weariness of your restless anxieties. 
a man who can shed tears with you and your worries, be happy with you when things go well, search out with you the answers to your problems, whom with the ties of charity you can lead into the depths of your heart, where the sweetness of the Spirit flows between you, where you so join yourself and cleave to him, that soul mingles with soul and two become one. St. Elred's thoughts and writings on spiritual friendship, such as what was just previously mentioned, have raised many questions on his own sexuality. An example of one of Elred's highly debated quotes from De Spirituali Amicitia, he wrote, Here we are, you and I, and I hope that Christ makes a third with us. No one can interrupt us now, so come now, my dearest friend, reveal your heart and speak your mind. Many people will agree and disagree on the subject of St. Elred being gay. There is much speculation about his sexuality. Many scholars would argue that there is little room for argument that St. Elred was gay. John Boswell, a historian on gays and lesbians in Christianity, has written on Elred's sexuality and said, there can be little question that Elred was gay and that his erotic attraction to men was a dominant force in his life. Boswell shares his views with many other historians. St. Elred has often been called the gay saint of friendship and has been coined as an icon by many LGBTQ plus groups and churches. Regardless of his sexuality, Elred has made a lasting religious and cultural impact. His thoughts on friendship and one's relationship with Jesus as well as the Holy Spirit are still heavily valued and taught in modernity.